Hey guys, Transformers fan here, and today I got a special package from cmdstore.com. Check them out, it's a pretty nice place. Got a lot of nice stuff there. And today I bought the Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom, Core Class Optimus Prime, and Rat Trap figures. And here is the box itself. So I'm going to open up the box right here on camera, and I'm going to see what's inside. Alright, so looks like I got the box open. So there's a lot of newspapers and stuff in here, so I'm going to clear that stuff out. And I see our two figures. So here's everything inside the box. So our first figure is a War for Cybertron Kingdom Rat Trap figure. And our second figure is a War for Cybertron Kingdom Optimus Prime figure. They both look pretty nice here in their packaging, and I do love the figures. So I'm going to zoom out, try to see if I can zoom out a little bit. Alright, that's the most I can do, I'm sorry. So, let's take a look at the figure itself. That has a little nice Kingdom box art here with Optimus Prime. So taking a look at the back, here we have Optimus Prime in the box. A lot of nice symbols and a lot of nice details on the figure. If we can zoom in right there, we can see there's the arc in the background. So today I'm going to be reviewing Optimus Prime, and then from there I'll do another video for Rat Trap. So I'm going to pause the camera and get them out of the box. Alright, so I did my best to try to preserve the kingdom art on the figure, and I think I did a pretty nice job. So here's Optimus Prime in the box, well in the little white packaging. And he comes with a nice little gun. And I'm just going to take him out of the box right now so we can go into the figure. And so I can show you guys how he transforms. So now taking a look at Optimus Prime's weapon. Here we have a small little rifle right here. Looks pretty nice. I have a lot of nice details here on the gun. And overall looks pretty good for an Optimus Prime gun. Especially for a $10 price point. So next up here is Optimus Prime himself and I actually really like what they did. It really does look like a miniature version of the Earthrise Optimus Prime figure and I am planning to do a review on that soon as well. I do have a lot of Kingdom and Siege figures. I am planning to do reviews on all the figures. So articulation wise Optimus Prime, his arm can go nice 360, the hand comes up, hand comes down. The individual hand itself can move 360 degree rotation. Well, not 360 degree. He can he can bend his knees up all the way out like this and all the way back like this. Now he does have a lot of backpack cable, but that's fine for me. I really don't care that much about back cable, so it's not that big of a problem for me. But it's going to be pretty nice to transform the figure itself. What you need to do is. First, come here to the legs and attach them together. Like so. Next up, you come here to the back and grab this piece of the head. And you want to push the head down and push that down along with it so that just attaches right there. Now, next up, what you want to do is come here to the hands. Push these in on both sides. Now next up, we want to bring the arms out the way so we can come here to the waist. Turn it around 360 degrees. Come here. Bring the legs back as so. And make sure this piece comes up as well. And after that's done, the next thing you want to do is come here to the back of the arms. Push these back on both sides. Come here to the arms. Bring them up like so. And attach them right here inside Optimus Prime like that. And you want to do this on both sides of the figure. 
So next thing after you after you do that, all you gotta do, come here to the front, and you just gotta try to close that part in. Give me a quick second. Also, one little tidbit I forgot to mention. These little parts right here on the figure, they do tab in into these tiny holes. So once you tab those in, it's a little hard to tap. It's a little hard to do it at first, but other than that, Kingdom Prime should be almost ready. So for me, the hardest part of transforming this figure is getting this part inside. It's a little tricky to do. And I'll pause it for a second to try to see if I can learn it. Alright guys, so I'm back and so I found an easier way to do this. Instead of pushing the arms in, you gotta come here and pull that up and I'll properly put that inside the trailer. Now we have the entire front grill of the figure ready. And now you can bring the arms and tab those in. Which should get Optimus Prime ready to roll out. So after I, tr so after I try tabbing these in, it's a little hard to do. And I gotta do it off camera because tabs are so small. It's hard to show you guys how to tab it in, so... But overall, it should look like this. Now, I, I couldn't fully tab it in. Because this is the first time I'm transforming it. But it looks pretty nice for a tiny Optimus Prime. I do like this figure. And I'm going to place him down here. So he can roll really nicely from side to side. And so, for anyone that's interested, I'm going to... Show you guys the instructions really quickly. Let's see where I placed it. All right. So here is the front of the instructions, and one thing that that many might notice for Siege, the instructions were in red. For Earthrise, it was in blue, and now for Kingdom, it's in green. I do like the instructions. They do explain the transformation very well. And for the gun, you can actually put it a lot of places. You could put it right here on Optimus Prime. Like so, because there's a little tiny hole that you can plug it in there. And, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it, where you can plug the gun. I don't think it's possible to put it in the truck mode. Let me see if I can. Yeah, alright, so yeah, never mind. There is a tiny little tab that you can place it right there on Optimus Prime, like so. So to transform Optimus Prime back into his robot mode, just gotta get the gun out of the way. Come here, bring the legs down, come to the arms, and fold them out like so. Now fold out the hands, come here, extend out the hands on both sides. Now come here. And just bring this piece all the way back. Pull it 360 degrees. And now we're almost done with the figure. You come here and just fix the arms. Bring this little crotch piece back. And last piece, just pull this back. Come here and pull out Optimus Prime's head. And here's our tiny Optimus Prime all ready to roll out. So I'm excited for the other three little G1 Quark class figures that they're making. So from what I know and heard, we're getting Starscream and Megatron, which we've seen pictures for, and we're also going to get Soundwave. Now, I, I do wonder what Sound's going to look like. I wonder if he's going to be a cassette or not. And when he's coming out. But yeah, you can go purchase 
Optimus Prime at CMD store. And also, if you fail on getting him, he will be coming in mass retail somewhere between January to February 2021. Some say he might come out in December. So here's a 360 look at Optimus Prime. And yeah, overall, it's a pretty nice figure. I do recommend this for any G1 fan. He's a little top heavy because of his huge backpack. But other than that, he does look pretty nice for an Optimus Prime. And I do recommend anyone who is a fan of Optimus Prime Channel to buy the figure. It's a pretty nice cheap figure. But overall, compared to the Earthrise Prime, the Earthrise Prime is obviously better. And between all the figures in Earthrise, I definitely recommend Rat Trap the most. And his review is going to be coming up next. So in the next few reviews I got planned are going to be Optimus Prime, which I just did, Rat Trap, and Studio Series Hot Rod and Scourge. Those are going to be the next two videos I'm going to be pumping out. So stay tuned for all those videos and subscribe to the channel. So thank you for watching everyone. I'll see you guys later. Bye.